Hi, Larry, WD0AKX. This is just a follow-up video. On my last video, I got some questions about what kind of software I'm using uh, to display the waterfall from my ICOM 7300. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about that in case you're not aware of that. So what I'm using is called WF View, and this one's for the IC7300. And this is how it looks on my computer screen. You can tailor everything. Uh, you can change the sizes and colors of things, and and uh, it will also control your rig. So it does do rig control. And if I uh, move the mouse around and tap on a frequency, it will change the frequency on my radio. And right now I'm using USB cable to my radio to control this. But you can also use your Wi-Fi network, and you can also control it from another location over the Internet, I believe. I'm still kind of new that, to this uh, program, still kind of playing around with it. So right now it works pretty good for me. The display is large for my poor eyesight. The one thing I would like it would be a larger S meter. There is an S meter over in this part of the screen here and it would be nice to have a little bit larger analog style S meter uh, that I could maybe move around on the screen but for now this works very well and I'm pleased to have found something that will work with my ICOM 7300 radio I know there's some other programs out there and I'm still looking into them I know ICOM itself has a program I think uh, that one costs a little money and I believe uh, there's another program out there. I'm not sure what that is right now. Uh, somebody did mention it one time to me, and uh, I don't know if I wrote that down or not. So if you know of any other programs where I can see the display of my 7300 and control the 7300 from the computer screen, uh, leave a comment below. I'm still kind of looking around, but... There was a few questions on what I use, and right now this is what I found that uh, works for me at the present time. Now they do have a website where you can download this, and it is a free download. And the website explains everything uh, much more in much more detail than I can tell you about here. So I'm just going to leave it at that since I'm still new to this program here also. Just kind of playing around with it lately. The website is wfview.org. And I'll leave a link in the video description. When I first downloaded the WF View software, I found it wouldn't work. And what I discovered after doing a little research is that I needed to download the USB driver for my ICOM 7300, IC7300, from the ICOM website. So that's something you need to know about. You do need the, uh, if you're going to use the USB cable anyhow you do need to do that. So this might be of interest to some of you anyhow with a, an ICOM radio and I do believe this does work with other ICOM radio models also. You can find out more on the website. I know I didn't know about this program until somebody mentioned it to me on the air and so I was happy to find this and like I say it works very well for me right now. So thanks for watching, and 7-3 from Larry WD0AKX, Radio Ham Guy on YouTube.